Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and an even bigger welcome to my first art vlog. So these vlogs are of course based on what art I do and I'm still wondering if I'm going to do this with voiceover on the videos or if I should just use the music instead. So if you guys could do me a favor and tell me in the comments which you would like best. Me doing those voiceover and telling you things about the art or stuff in general. Or if you'd simply prefer music. That'll help me out a lot with future videos, so thank you to you guys if you do do that. Um, so today we are going to... We are seeing this Spike the Bee bag video. Um... So Spike the Bee is, of course, a Disney character a lot of people don't know. Um, unless you're really into Disney World and its festivals at Epcot, you might have seen him as a mascot. So Spike the Bee was featured in Donald Duck videos. Um, for a lot of characters that were actually part of Donald Duck's videos, they were more of the... Um, you know, anybody to Donald Duck is the bad guy, including like Chip and Dale, Spike the Bee. Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know if you can hear him, but that is my dog in the background barking at something. It is pretty windy today, so We're pretty used to it. He is a guard dog and anything on his property, aka our house, he has to bark at. So, sorry if that happens. <laughs> so, what I'm doing right here is, of course, as you all know, anybody who does art has to do, of course, your research. And I thought I'd show what I usually do, of course, it's just like Google Images. And, um, oh, there was a picture of my babies back there. Um, of course, unfortunately, only Dodger <laughs> is alive. The rest of them, all of my lovely little ladies are from my past, so I miss them terribly. And I have a picture of all of them on my, uh, on my computer. So, uh, what I'm doing here is, of course, using, um, to be specific, it's Liquitex Basics Acrylic Gesso. And of course, a lot of you know who do um, traditional painting use this on canvases to really brighten up colors and of course other features. But so on these bags, which by the way, I did get from Amazon. Um, they were from, oh my god, I forgot, those plastic lids like you put on um, bowls and such. Uh, we recently bought some and uh, they've been working great. They smelled really bad though so I actually had to air this bag for a while with some very strong like Lysol Febreze, Lysol again. And, oh it was terrible. Um, so of course after the gesso it's all dried up the next day and then I'm going to go in with just a regular mechanical pencil and do an outline. Um, I really wasn't sure. I knew I wanted to do Spike the Bee. Um, I wasn't really sure of the style yet. Um, I'm sorry. I know I'm a type of person who says I'm a lot, so please pardon that. <laughs> it's just the way I am. Uh, um, again, with the style, so I'm... I'm really what you call, at least what I call myself, a copycat kind of artist. You know, I really haven't found my my art yet, or my art. Oh God, what's it called? <laughs> oh no, my art design, my art. Oh my God, it's something. Anyways, I don't have an art style. There I go. <laughs> my art style yet. So I do a lot of copying, and that's just the way I like to do. Um, do my art is based on other people's sort of fandoms and all kinds of stuff and you know if I ever find my art style great if I don't you know I'm happy doing what I do um 
So I started to look at more of the Tumblr and seeing the stylized on, uh, I've seen the picture very brief, how it was stylized and I really liked it. And I decided, as you saw before, I erased the stem of the flower and just decided to put like a, like an island of him, a flower, kind of a little background. And then I'm going to just do all kinds of random flowers all around. And I was, I'm very happy with uh, what came out in the end, so. <laughs> um, there I go again with the um. This is actually very fun. I'm, I'm actually allergic to flowers, so I don't do flowers very often, so. Um, something like this, so yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, and I didn't... I wasn't too, you know, concerned about the outline because I knew I was going to paint over, which actually bit me in the butt a little bit later, which you'll see. I kind of hesitate on the yellow. <laughs> that was the only one that doesn't completely cover, like, three times you have to paint over it, like, a couple of times. But I found out later that it was kind of cool to see the, um the pencil through the yellow, so I actually kind of left it after, like, three layers <laughs> of the yellow instead of just, like, five. Um, so here I am getting all the paints together. Um, that yellow is... Well, a lot of these ones... So my main paints that I like to use is the Golden Artist colors, which you might have seen in Michaels and such. Those are, like, the yellow or excuse me, white tubes, <laughs> and those are the ones I like to use, but I have a lot of old paints that family has given me, so like the yellow is Apple Barrel, which, you know, it works very, of course if you don't shake the bottle, water comes out first. <laughs> so um, I use those, and I think that orange is Americana, so being the artist in the family, I've acquired a lot of paint just through my family and um, when I have projects like these especially ones I don't keep because I I am going to sell this bag and I'll tell you guys about that at the end um, it's not that I don't use the best paint but on stuff I usually don't keep <laughs> well I guess I am saying I don't use the best paint but it came out great anyways and Actually, I underestimated this paint. Let me just say that. <laughs> Not that I'm telling you guys cheap stuff, because there are people who use just like Americana or Apple Barrel, and um, yeah, they're they're much cheaper, but they're they're a pretty good quality. I I was very surprised. It works great on the bag too, so maybe it's they work better on materials like this bag instead of canvases or something, you know. Every artist has their preferred paints, and I go with golden artist colors, but other people like the other ones. <laughs> Please, I promise I'm not selling you cheap stuff. <laughs> I very promise. And, um, yeah, that's the thing about this, so, of course this is fast forward by a thousand times on some of the videos, and then on the, uh, not smaller, but, um, You'll find out that I'm the type of person who forgets words. Like, language is so hard for me. <laughs> I am not a language person. Like, it's so hard for me to come up with words. So, if I ever stop in the middle of a sentence, all my friends know this. I stop in the middle of a sentence and I try to just think of a word. Because my brain is going through all of it. Coming up with nothing, basically. So I am so sorry if I stop in the middle of a sentence and that's just me trying to find the right word and most of the time I will not be able to find it, so. And just like right now, I forgot what I was talking about, so sorry for that too. <laughs> As, you know, this is my first art video and I've never done voiceover like this before. I've done little ones on my TikTok, but never for this long. So, um, a lot of crazy stuff's gonna come out of my mouth. You know, stuff about me, stuff about my art. <clears throat> and, um, 
yeah, you guys are gonna learn a lot. <laughs> so, there you go, this little point about me. Um, so here I started to do flowers and then, well, I did spike the bee first. And then I started to do the flowers and I thought, oh crap, I have to do the background first. <laughs> and I thought, you know, usually with flowers and meadows and stuff, everybody thinks of a blue sky, so. I went with the blue, of course, and, um, yeah, I really liked it. I am very glad I came up with that, and, um, I really like this version of Spike the Bee, but I feel like I made the neck too skinny. It's probably more to the picture, but I wish I could have fixed the, the neck, because the other picture that I do of him when he's laying down, he has no neck, so he, it looks like a completely different bee. <laughs> But it's the same thing, I promise. Um, so I, doing art stuff like this, it's like a whole process of, um, I didn't plan to like get this bag. I didn't plan to use Spike the Bee. It's just, it's stuff that comes together, if you know what I mean. It's just like, oh, hold on. Okay, so I just said sorry. It was because my mom <laughs> showed me her um her art project, which she was doing. She loves to do those, you know, make your own rugs out of um. It's not crochet, I don't think. Oh God, what's it called when you just use um you know, like strands of thread and make a rug out of it? You might have seen those in like Michaels too when. Um, she's made one for family, and she had enough, well, funny story, she made me go buy a certain color because the box that I come with either, it didn't have enough of the color. And you can't just buy those individual threads, so I had to go buy her another one. And it was of a puppy face, very cute. And <laughs> funny enough, she had a lot of random colors left over, so she was telling me in the background she put like some greens and some blues even though it's supposed to be purely black and she put her name in like the different color it was very cute so um based on that i guess you guys can guess that i um that i get my art from my family i, th I think my mother's side mostly apparently <laughs> okay um I'm trying to remember what I was saying. I could go back, but I kind of wanted to do this voiceover in one sitting just to see how I would do and it's not going so well, is it? But you know what? Just got to keep rolling with the punches. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> sorry. I don't think my voice is also used to talking this much before, so if I sound like my voice is going out, it probably is. <laughs> um, okay, so I did the background. Now I'm trying to I come up with all these companies. So one thing I noticed as an artist, I do... I don't like to say waste because you'll see later that I don't, I don't waste paint. Um, you'll see how later. I do pour a lot though, and it's because I always have that fear of if I make a custom color, I'm afraid to run out of it, and then if I try to make it again, it won't be exactly the same. So I pour paint too much, and it's a bad habit, I know. Actually during this, I, I try to do less. <laughs> More on the back side of the bag. It was this front side, I was like, ooh, I gotta cut back on that, so. Um, I have a love-hate for mixing colors, let me tell you. It's, um, <laughs> you know, it, it's fun, I guess, during the process, but it's just trying to get certain colors. It's, it can be hard, but what comes along can be pretty fun, so it really is like a love-hate relationship with it. You know, I also think with my voice... I've been noticing lately doing more videos. I need to drink more hot stuff. Because <laughs> I love, I think I'm like most Americans. 
I live in America. I, uh, I drink a lot of cold drinks. Like, no matter what the season is, it's, you know, sometimes in winter I'll have a hot cocoa and, you know, that normal stuff, but even like eggnog, I have to have ice with it. Like everything, every drink, I always have to have ice. I prefer iced coffee. I prefer everything iced. <laughs> And I can tell, especially getting later in my life, is that I need to start drinking some hot stuff. <laughs> I even heard recently that drinking hot stuff, especially in the summer, is actually good for you. So I have to try that theory. But um, I also wonder about this theory. You know, he says it's for real. I don't know. <laughs> I have to try it myself. Um, anybody who watches Game Grumps, Aaron Hansen doesn't, um, doesn't use mouthwash and he swears that he hasn't gotten sick as much because of it, so I might try that, who knows. Um, as you can see, that's Sideswipe, so, <laughs> funny thing is, I got a crane, you know, for... This is what I, I have my phone on a crane so you guys can see what I'm doing. And it toppled over. <laughs> so, oh wait, no, no, no. It, that didn't happen yet. It's going to happen later. What happened was my phone ran out of battery. Ah ha ha ha. So you, um, the main difference was I did another hour or two. I'm going to say one hour of uh, more colors. So this is the next day. And I completely finished with all my colors. Now I'm doing the outline. Um, so I tried to do a stylized outline and I didn't like it on Spike himself. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna um, do a regular outline with him and then do that stylized outline, which you'll see soon, just on the flowers and everything else. So. Spike is the only one who's like completely outlined and I really like that because to me he popped out more. Um, by the way, this is one of my favorite part. I like this style. Um, again, I got it from a Disney World Tumblr. Probably? I have no idea. It was in Google search. Um, I liked how it was outlined so um, this was my most fun part. <laughs> Deciding how these lines go. I love art that looks complicated, but it's simplified in a way that can still still be complicated, but <laughs> how do I explain that? You know, a style that I get oh, a style that looks easy, but actually takes a lot of time and thought and uh, is harder than people think it is, so I like simplified designs, but I know, especially as an artist, that it took a long time. So like this bag, I'm gonna say each side took four to five hours. You know, I had one clip that was three hours and 56 minutes, and that's why I, um, I fast forward everything like a thousand times because th this took a while. Art takes a while and I feel like other artists will tell you that, you know, people don't think of these things when they buy stuff from artists or don't, you know, if you've seen those Reddit or any type of posts from artists that people want stuff for free and they don't understand this stuff takes time and energy and thought and it's looking at pictures took 30 minutes so there's a picture right there and uh, so I'm doing the back side of course I think this is yeah this is the next day um, I like to take a day to let things dry just in case you never know um, usually I'm an impatient about that but you know I just I'm not a very patient person, I admit that, which, this is why I love acrylic, because it dries so fast, uh, a lot of people, like, I also do like watercolor, 
because you can undo your mistakes very easily. Like right here. <laughs> Spike right here was supposed to be laying down. And then I noticed as I was drawing him that he was right side up. So I had to figure out, oh shoot, what was I going to do? And the only thing I could think of was putting his arms down. So I tried in front and I didn't like how that looked. This was the most erasing I ever did on this bag. Um, so I decided to do the his hands, his arms behind him and it worked great. So. Uh, I'm very sad that I didn't angle him as much as I did to make it seem like he was laying down, but at least he looks, you know, content instead of really sleeping, I hope it looks like. <laughs> so, um, I didn't notice until later, I'm doing the flowers, and I didn't notice until later that I did way more flowers than I did on the first one. That's the funny thing about, I don't know if it's just me or other artists, but if you're doing two similar pictures, you feel more comfortable doing the second one because the first one really was more of a trial. So the second one I got way more comfortable and it comes to bite me in the butt later, um, especially with the colors, but I did way more flowers, uh, way more smaller flowers too. But, actually in the end I really didn't mind. It also came out great, so, you know, stuff you learn, but, you know, the first pictures you always do, they're trials, and sometimes they look better because you're more aware, I guess. <laughs> See me trying to find the right word. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So while searching on Google, these were my two favorite pictures of Spike. Um, they were from the same cartoon. And just him about this flower, and I really liked it. Especially for like a centerpiece of the painting, so... It was, uh... Yeah, you know, go back and forth, see... I didn't want to put the same flowers in the same area I wanted to be different on both sides so it could be more interesting so I think that was the thought process and I just did way more flowers and there goes my dog again <laughs> his name is Dodger by the way uh, here I am getting more paints get that picture out there the great thing was picture was just a reference um, I like to pick the colors myself so although I gotta say I like the like the paint on the first picture more than the second one and I'll tell you why right here so <laughs> I forgot I had mixed blue to get that light blue so this was the lightest blue I had without mixing <laughs> and this was the time I didn't flip back and forth to see it wasn't the same blue <laughs> and I noticed it was darker and I was like oh crap <laughs> and I really didn't want to paint over it because I've I didn't think that was going to do anything, so... Um, after I finished this blue, I realized that, and then I decided, well, since it's more um, lighter on the other side, the light blue, then, and, you know, he's more awake in that one, and then in here it almost looks like he's sleeping or just relaxing. I want to say it's like, see, there we go. <laughs> it's like, oh, gosh. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to make it more like that was early morning and now it's afternoon and he's like tired. So now I decide I'm all the flowers, all the paints are going to, I'm going to try to make them darker than what they were. And um, yeah, it, it came out all right. <laughs> I like the first picture better, I admit. I like the fact I did more flowers, but at the same time, the first one with the less flowers I liked, just because it didn't look as busy. And like I said before, I I prefer simplified. <laughs> but that's okay. You live and learn, right? Um, yeah. And I think it was because 
like that blue without the other colors, but then later on when I added more colors, I didn't like the blue as much, but I didn't want to go back and change it, so I thought since I am selling this, probably the person who does buy this is going to like the fact that I chose darker colors and likes that blue better than I do. <laughs> and um, yeah, just a fun fact. Sorry, that was very loud. Um, just a fun fact, my favorite color is red. Um, it was always between, well, as a little girl, my favorite color was pink, and I named a black cat pink, and god, she hated our guts. <laughs> she was a stray through and through, and she never liked our family, no matter what we did, and, um, she, she just ran away. <laughs> so, uh, never knew what happened to her, unfortunately, and... She, she just wanted to stay astray, so we just let her go. Um, yeah. But we had another cat named Misha, who you might have seen the picture on my computer really quick. Um, she lived until she was about 20. And uh, she was a calico, and she loved us. She was sort of a stray, too. Um, I'll probably do a video about each of the pets that have been a part of my life. And, uh, so far Misha has been the longest with 20 years, and of course I miss her terribly. She's the only cat that, well, she wasn't really mine. She was my brother's, but he didn't really take care of her. <laughs> Loved her, but didn't really take care of her, so she really, like, became my mom and my dad's, and, um, she loved being a stray, too. We didn't keep a collar on her. You'll find out why in another video, um, but she always came back, even, like, she got her own food, she hunted birds and mice on her own. Um, yeah, I miss her terribly. She was very cuddly. Like, she wasn't one of those cats that would snap at all. She was, well, maybe when she was younger, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but... As she got older, she was really mellow and just loved attention, and that was also, she was the first and last, probably will be last, um, animal I've had with long hair, because I'm actually allergic just with animals with long hair. As long as I get dogs or cats in the future that have short hair, I'm totally fine, but I have major allergies when it comes to that, so... I know now I would have never been able to keep her unless I took like 20 Benadryls a day. <laughs> ah. So as you can see, I wanted to start with the yellow. I wanted, yeah, I keep the flower the same. Um, sorry, I'm looking at it and <laughs> trying to remember my thinking process. And I did make the yellow more um, darker, which a lot of you know, to make colors darker, you don't simply just put black, because that ruins a lot of colors, so with, like, yellow, to make it darker, you put, like, orange, especially if you want to get that, uh, darker in the sky kind of hue. Um, a lot of the other colors, I just use brown instead. And another fun fact, not about me, but just a fun fact, that, um, if you combine all the colors of the rainbow, you get brown, not black, so. Sorry, I, I used to work at a children's museum, so. <laughs> uh, I was in the art department, of course, so I like to have, I like to sprout out these fun facts, especially about colors. So, um, yeah, as you can see, kind of in the yellow, especially in that middle flower, you do see a lot of the pencil in there, and Again, I just really liked it. I thought I gave it like a little rough and I think some of the outline I did try to put over and then, I don't know, you might still see the pencil after. If not, woohoo, doesn't matter either way. <laughs> I like it both either way. Um, so you get my blues. There's that light blue I wanted before. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, 
Oh no, this is a very, very light blue for his wing. Um, in the original picture, it didn't show his wing. Um, yeah, I just put the wing in there just to give it more color in, in between him and the flower. And I'm really proud of myself for putting his arms in a different way. You know, kind of problem solving that. I love it. Oh, and for those who don't know, I have this teardropper because I do like... I mean, as I said before, I don't waste paint. What I do is I get another paper and... Actually, you'll see more of a longer video later. Um, I say longer, but it's going to be like more 5, 10 seconds. <laughs> Even though it took me like... 10 minutes to do but um, I add water to the colors which I don't think I'm gonna use anymore and then later I'll pretty much make those colors into a background on another picture painting so again I'll point it out when I get there because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten there yet yeah um, so here was the thing with his face. I really wanted to... I guess I really didn't? I keep looking back and forth. <laughs> From the video to the real product. Oh no, his face is still a little lighter, but I wanted to, his colors to be still a little darker because like I said, I wanted all the colors, colors to be a little darker, indicating that it's, you know, later in the day. So... I kept going back and forth like, oh, I really didn't make that yellow as dark as I wanted it to, so gotta light him up a little bit, not put as much orange, so like, I think with the outline it'll really pop him out too, so I think, I, yeah, his yellow looks a little bit brighter than the flowers, so I think I did it. So here I am going in with, um, I didn't notice that I used more blues than I did on the other side because I feel like I didn't use enough blues on the light picture, so this was, I really like this blue. It's like a navy blue, I think. Um, oh, and I wanted to mention earlier, so <laughs> the way my desk is, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> oh, I think my throat is giving out already. Um, the way my desk is, is that I have, it's a wooden desk. But what my parents did way back in the day was use, um, I guess it's like a plastic, to cover it so that whenever, I think it was my brother's desk before my desk, and probably someone else's desk before, it's an old desk, basically. <laughs> and um, they made these like plastics to put over the desk so you could see on the desk the lines in between. Those lines are real, like it's real wood. And it's a butt to write on, to paint on. So they made the plastics to make it flat, right? However, it took me so long to figure this out. The, any light that goes on this deck desk is reflected. And so I was trying to do the lighting right for these videos and like, I couldn't think of anything, like, no matter what light I did, it just reflected badly in the videos. And finally, I was like, oh, it's the plastic. It's, it shouldn't have taken me that long, but. <laughs> so, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to put, like, a cloth over. But, you know, that's, anyone who's tried to paint or do anything over cloth, it's, it's pretty bad. And it's, I'll try it. There's nothing much else I could do if I want to keep making these videos. So, um, currently this is the only desk I have right now. So no matter what, I have to put something on the desk because I can't use the wood itself to paint on. So, um, if you see something different in other videos, that's why. And that's why I also have the cup right in the middle. That's where my light is. So I didn't want to blind you guys too bad. <laughs> so if there's any part of the video that like blinds you, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> it really shouldn't have taken me so long to figure out it was the 
plastic. <laughs> Again, live and learn. This is only my... S well, I have other videos on my YouTube where I tried the game, but this is my first art video. This is only my second video vlog-wise, so um, please bear with me. <laughs> uh, as I find these things out, it will get better, I promise. <laughs> So, yeah, going in with more colors, um, I think the only big regret I have on this bag is more different colors. Because, again, like I said, all the colors I used were you, um, colors for family. I didn't want to use any of, like, really, really good stuff that I had. Like, I, I just say it's good stuff. When I just say it's more expensive stuff. I can't remember. Um, these Golden Artist colors, I think they go for like like $17 a tube. I think, is that the big ones? Anywhere from like $10 to $17, $20 a tube. Whereas these Americanas, they're just like $2, $3 each. Especially for the small ones. The bigger ones, maybe $5, $7. So, when I say cheap, maybe not cheaper, more so in quality, but, like, they're just cheaper in general. And, um, I'm just trying to get rid of them, because, <laughs> again, I don't use them that much. Um, I've been using them more to get rid of them, you know, it's, it's a whole big circle thing. And I only had so many colors, so, um, I think what really would have made these flowers on both sides pop out more was red. Like, I wish I used red. <laughs> oh, I couldn't use my favorite color. <laughs> That's okay. I, again, I really still liked how this came out. I know I've said that three times. I'm so sorry if I repeat myself. <sighs> and for those of you wondering, I think this is, I don't know the material of the bag specifically. I think it's burlap. Burlap? Burlap. Burlap. Um, so I advertise on my Etsy, and um, I also am on OfferUp. If anybody's in my area, it's... On OfferUp, I always offer my stuff cheaper um, than Etsy, because Etsy, you have to do... It's mostly shipping. As everybody knows, every seller on there, most of your stuff is out of your town, so more shipping costs that have to go into them so a lot of my stuff on offer up is like half off <laughs> but again it's only if you're town and if um if i'm driving to you or you drive to me that's even more cheaper but um where was i going with this oh gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot what was I saying? And I don't want to go back and listen to my voice. <laughs> Ooh, another good blue color. Woohoo! That's like an aquamarine, I think. I didn't want to do too many blue colors towards the actual blue, so if it's dark enough, then that's okay. Like those dark blues I used before, I'm totally fine with that, but I try to use colors like that more towards the outside rather than the inside. I was talking about something with the bag, wasn't I? Oh, oh, here it is! Okay, so this is, this is me putting my colors away. <laughs> um, see, I have a lot. And yes, that is an animal cracker barrel that I put them in. <laughs> Plastic barrel. Um, so this is colors I've used before in other pictures. So what I do, and it's it's really just for fun. It, it, I do a little finger painting, which I would love to do more of in the future. I love finger painting. Um, and you know, it's funny with these blues, I had a t-shirt that looked exactly like this. <laughs> or those, um, you know, 90s cups or like bus stop, bus seat covers that look like these. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Uh, just this blue with this, like, purple little bit of green. Yeah, you, you 90s kids definitely know what I'm talking about. 
Um, yeah. And that's the way I like to use the rest of my pictures. And I had like little hunks here picking off, so don't mind that. That happens all the time. It's those little balls of uh, paper that come off when you put too much paint on and you rub it too much on the paper, so. All right, the next day. <laughs> so, um, and usually, you know, I do these on different days because I only like to do a couple hours each day on these before, as I said, I, I'm not very patient and I get bored. <laughs> Which, I don't know how artists, either, you know, painting or doing movies or games or anything, I don't know how people take years to do things. I do not have the patience for that. The most, I think that's why I like to do, um, little paintings. Well, I've done big paintings, but they don't take as long as most people think. Or, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, for people who have seen like my Etsy and everything, the majority of what I do is um, make and sell theme park ears, like Mickey ears. I like to say theme park because I'm not doing exactly just Disney. I like to do other, like I'm working on a Gotham Knights pair of ears right now, which will be the next video on my art blog. So um, look forward to that if you're a big DC and um, Gotham Knights fan. Oh, I really hope that game will be awesome, and I can't wait to play Red Hood, because his DLC in the Arkham game, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> One of my favorite characters is Red Hood, of course. Um, see, I lost my train of thought again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh right, back to the Mickey ears. They only take a couple of hours, um, well, I say a couple of, less than 10 hours to do. If I have to do a painting or any craft or anything that takes, I don't know, 25 hours and above, I just can't. I seriously just cannot. I do not have the patience. I do, well, I guess I have the time right now. Soon I won't have the time, but... Um, it's just the way I am. That's why I love acrylic rather than watercolor because, or not watercolor, oil. That's right. Um, I don't like the fact that oil is, takes, can sometimes it takes years to uh, dry. <laughs> and I just, I actually bought some oils for an art class and I'm trying to sell them because I didn't use a lot and I just know I'm never going to use them. I love acrylic. I love the way how fast it dries. It, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So here I go. I wanted to, I knew I did more blues, so I wanted to go more with purples and especially pink. Since I didn't use red on the first side, I didn't want to use red on the second side. I thought that would be too contrasting. Well, not contrast, because that's what I wanted. Um, just too different, so I was like, okay, I'll go more of the pink area. Um, I'm sorry, it looks like I'm painting kind of off camera, and... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, apparently uh, my phone, especially the phone cases that I get for it, are a lot heavier than other people's phones, I guess. Because <laughs> this is as high as my crane can go, and you know, when you do, at least for, yes, I do have a Samsung, so uh, when I do video, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't think you can... And you can kind of zoom in and out, but I don't know. I've, I've just, I'm not a big recording person yet, so. <laughs> Guys, I swear, give me more time. I will figure this stuff all out. I hope this is still good. 
I can already see, look at my light reflecting off of my desk. That's what I was trying to not blind you guys with. So, and if he comes to train on my bag, you won't be as blinded. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, we're almost done. We're almost done, as you can see. And it's starting to get all my colors done, so... As I said before, the uh, outline was my favorite part, so... Out of everything, which... You know, I feel like I just have to practice more on my... Like, color theory, color everything, and I, that'll probably make it more fun for me. See, I was trying to put the bag over the light. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so funny thing with this. I made his antennas perfect on this side. On the light side, I made them way too thick and I didn't um, fix it. On this side, they look heavenly. That, I think that's my favorite thing about the bag <laughs> is those antennas because they're, they're you know thick on one side and then they go skinny and I didn't want to make them thick to match the other side, so I'm sorry, other side. <laughs> but those antenna all oh, look so good. I was so proud. Um, so again, I outline just spike perfectly and then go back and forth, make sure everything will be consistent. And um, here I go randomly outlining things. God, this was so fun. I would love to do it again. I love this art style. Whoever came up with it, whatever Disney Imagineer or artist came up with that Tumblr picture. Um, oh, for those who don't know, um, I do have an Instagram. It's just at Sora the Explorer Art. Um, I do have, I will have a post of this bag and then the references. So if you want to go back to the to there you can see the references I used and if you specifically want to see this tumblr then um, it'll be on there about this like art style and stuff so I always like to post references you know now one of those who say it's mine because I, I definitely know it now it's not <laughs> ah, and that's okay as long as you give reference being a copycat is fine and plus, all artists use references all the time. It's one of those things. I'm just saying that just in case you are an artist and you're like, oh, I gotta come up with something by myself. And no, 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 you don't have to. A lot of people, especially on Instagram, references all the time. And slowly you can come up with your own style. And if you don't, that's okay too. You know what? You still make beautiful art just by copying. You can say, hey, you know, this is, this is the reference I used. They're totally fine. And sometimes you'll come up with your own thing. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm sorry. I said that like three times in a row, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I'm just so concentrated on this outline. I love it. All right. Looks like I'm finishing up here. So I do want to say, guys, again, um... You'll see it on the last card at the very end. I do have an Instagram, which is Soar the Explorer Art. I do have a Twitter. Oh, here, sorry. Here is the um, the ending result. Kind of a closer look. And you know, this bag can be great for like gift wrapping or, you know, for seeds, jewelry, coins. I think it's a fun bag. I mean, I painted it, so why not? <laughs> But especially if someone's a gardening person, definitely. So, yep, here it is. My Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. So thank you guys for watching. See you soon.